You wanted me to do this game? I'll do this game. But first... As ages passed, and the Twelve Crusaders became a talk of legend, a great rebellion arose and spread throughout the land of Jugdral. That's right, we're going back to Jugdral. Well, on the march through the Yi Desert, Kwan and Ethlin were suddenly attacked by a Thracian army and died far from their homeland. They were so cool! Ah! So King Munster fights valiantly while grieving the loss of his sons. He, too, meets a bitter end and betrayed by his allies, the Kunod army. Yeah, Leinster got hit the shaft pretty hard back then. The entire army of Thracia seizes upon this chance and assaults Leinster's castle. As Leinster's army fights bravely in the face of merciless defeat, one young knight, Finn, escapes with Prince Leif, Leinster's infant grandson. As Leif gazes of the castle cradled in Finn's arms, can he even begin to understand the terrible sight that meets his eyes? So the story goes. And now, 13 years later, this is Fire Emblem Thracia 776. My absolute favorite Fire Emblem game for a lot of reasons. And I was actually surprised when I was starting Valkyria Chronicles. And people were like, WHY ARE YOU NOT DOING FE5? I THOUGHT YOU WERE DOING FE5! I was like, DAMN, YOU PEOPLE WANT ME TO DO THIS GAME THAT MUCH? I was like, HOLY CRAP! So yeah, this this game is big reason to be one of my favorites. I'm using the text trans- I'm using another ROM patch, or patch that translates most of the text. But text that aren't translates just this. Um, I'll be using, um, the text translation done by Fire Lizard. He will also do the text translation for, uh, FE6. And a very good one, which was used, which was used as the base for, um, the FE6 ROM, FE6 patch. So you get to see the opening as... In case you can tell from the opening, this time, it's Leaf's story. This game takes place in this case. This game takes place around the beginning of chapter six of FE4 and ends shortly before chapter nine of FE4. And there's lots to be done. It's basically the story you didn't get to see with Elise. The story you didn't get to see with Leaf's hardships and struggles. The story you wanted to see, you couldn't. But I will make you see this story. So sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself as we take a wild ride on. As we take a wild ride on this great Fire Emblem title, Leafy Boy. So yeah, this game is a midquel, and we're gonna have some fun. This game is also known as being the hardest in the series. For also for good reason. So, we're gonna enjoy! There's the opening. Alright, let's start. Uh, I'll get rid of this file. Let's go. Eastern coast of Thracia, Theon was an independent village run by a swordswoman named Ivel. She led a band of fighters to protect the neighboring villages from bandits. Ivel gave Leif and his comrades a warm welcome. Leif gradually grew up among the youths who resided in Fiona. Together with his loyal knight Finn and his daughter Nana, proceeded to defeat the Thracian forces and take control of the northern Thracia. 
Shaking off pursuits from the Grand Mill Empire, Leaf fled to various cities, such as Ulster, and Tara, before finally arriving at Fiona, a small village on the eastern coast of Thracia. Fiona was an independent village run by a swordswoman named Vale. She led a band of fighters to protect the neighboring villages from bandits. Vale gave Leaf and his comrades a warm welcome. And the game and the game is just repeating its text all over and over. And now, in the year Grand Year 776. Chapter 1 The Warrior Fiona. I'm pretty sure the text is supposed to go like that. Have you found the prince? No, my lord. We searched the village, but the prince is nowhere to be found. You fool! We don't have much time! I know the prince is here. Run in the villages and make him talk. We need to find him. Yes, you're really doing that, my lord. The villagers say that he isn't here. He apparently left with Fiona militia to save, go save some village from a pirate attack. Fiona militia? What's that? This village was originally the headquarters of a large group of brigands. A little over a decade ago, traveling mercenary the Vale cleared out the vans and took over the village. She then established militia to protect the nearby villages from bandit attacks. Apparently, she's quite skilled with her sword. Hmm, she could be a problem. No worries, my lord. We have already taken Vale's daughter hostage. We also captured the daughter of Finn, the knight defending the prince. They'll have no choices given to us now. Well, not bad for you. Good. I should take the girls back to Manster with me. You stay here and wait for the rebels. Make sure you capture the prince when he returns. Yes, my lord. Someone, bring the girls here! What is your name, girl? Hmm. Ha! This town is cute as well. And the other one... That's Marita, Evale's adopted daughter. Ah, so here's Finn's daughter. I say your mother is a princess from Nodion. I see you haven't lost your dignity living in a place like this. Mm. Well, I've got some pleasant surprises to take home with me. Wiseman, I will not return to Manster. I trust you can handle the rest. Yes, my lord. So, that douchebag Baron just took Maria and Nana into split. Here come the cavalry! What's happening? Something's wrong! I'll take a look, Lady Vale. Please wait here. Lady Vale, the village is full of Imperial troops. It looks like they attacked while we were gone. What? Damn, those bastards! Lady Vale, let's go! Calm down, Othin. If you run in there without planning, we'll be beaten down. Why are you so calm, Haven? Our village is being attacked! No, Haven is right. Calm yourself, Ulthin. Lord Leaf, it looks like the Imperial has sought us out. Ah, please make your escape while we destroy the Imperial troops. Finn, take care of him. Evail! Nana's still in the village! I can't just leave her and run! I'll ensure her safety, don't worry. No, that's not it. I chose not to run anymore. Finn, what about you? Are you going to allow Lord Leaf to get himself in danger? Well, Leaf is already 15 years old. He's old enough to make his own decisions. As a servant, I will respect his judgment and follow his commands. Fifteen. Well, he did bring with us to defeat the pirates. Fine. If this Finn says so, it's alright with me. Well, are we done? Let's hurry up and go kick their asses! Yes, but be careful. Although they're Imperial troops, the lower-ranking ones are civilians forced into the army. If you can, don't kill them. Just take the weapons and let them escape. Understood? We can hurt them if they submit to us, right? They kill us if we don't. Yes, but don't overdo it, okay? Especially you, Othin. Come on, don't you trust me, Lady Vale? Okay, let's go. Show them the Fiona Militia's strength! And we begin! Alright. Now, this game works more like fi traditional Fire Emblem chapters, where you gotta go through a certain number of chapters in order to clear the thing. Not, dull, not whole, total globe trotting like FE4 did. On our side. Leafy Boy is back! He's the main character! He's got Ethlin's light sword! And he has an iron sword. He also has Continue! Finn! He's got the Brave Lance, which is only his. He's still a Lance Knight. And he also has Prayer. Haven? And Othin, Axe 
fighters. Haven has ambush while Othan has wrath. And Vale! An obvious J an obvious Jagan if you ever saw one. <laughs> well she's a swordmaster. As you can see she's already max speed. She's got an iron blade and a fire sword. She also continued from Swordmaster. We got various enemies. Soldiers. Archers. And this guy. Wiseman. A sword armor with a long sword. And that's really all the time I have for this first episode. So I'll have to go so I'll have to go more in depth next episode. We'll be right back though.